Okay, so we have Nus one. Zelensky claims significant gains in northeastern Ukraine as key city retaken. Ukrainian officials say the military has made sweeping gains in a counteroffensive in the northeastern Kharkiv region, with President Volodymyr Zelensky asserting that a key city in the region has been reclaimed by Ukrainian forces and the Russian offensive across the country are being repelled. Zelensky video on his social media accounts with Ukrainian soldiers standing above a building in the key Kharkiv city of Balaklia, which was under Russian occupation for six months alongside the Ukrainian troops, have also reached the city of Kulpyansk in the Kharkiv region, a key logistics supply hub showing Ukrainian soldiers holding a flag in front of a signpost in southern entrance of the city geolocated by CNN. Russian military bloggers and analysts have said that Ukrainian forces pushed towards Kupians aims to cut off supply lines to the strategic city of Izium to the south. The order is fulfilled. Russian occupational troops have withdrawn, one of the soldiers says. So news to Indian and Chinese troops disengaging from disputed border area New Delhi. Indian Indian and Chinese troops have begun disengaging from the Kogra Hot Springs border area in the western Himalayas, the Indian government said two years after clashes at the frontier strained diplomatic ties. The statement comes ahead of meeting in Uzbekistan next week, which Chinese President Xi Jinping and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi are expected to attend. India said this engagement was taking place in a coordinated and planned way and was meant to keep border peace. The eyeball to eyeball contact has ended, an Indian defense source said, referring to the latest agreement, although both countries still have thousands of soldiers lined up along the de facto known as the line of actual control. India and China share an undemarcated 3,800 kilometers border where their troops previously adhered to long-standing protocols to avoid the use of any firearms in the frontier.